Good morning, everyone. Surf Gal. We are continuing our backtracking in Ender Lilies. Uh, we've got a couple sections here that we're going to hopefully get through. Uh, so the blue areas are all not complete. I think that these top three blue kind of oblongs that we're near um are all going to be similar in that they seem to have these rooftop areas that we couldn't reach previously and of course this obnoxious jump that I keep failing at. It feels like you should be able to make it without any help, but it seems like you have to put one sword slash in there right at the right moment or something. close. I know I got it without doing this trick the last time, but I like this trick because it uh, makes me feel clever. <laughs> so there. All of this just makes me think that there's going to be a relic somewhere that lets me uh, if it's different if you use the second jump after the dash like if it's a momentum thing that's gonna be it I found out earlier that when you use the hammer uh, in the air it bumps you up and back so you can kind of bypass a little bit of height requirement for an area with it I'm actually landing one of those. And once again, I love how fast that power returns. Uh, let's go ahead and that. This is where the boss is. Let's see if we can actually line it up this time better. This is a very narrow space. terrified about what this power is going to be, but I'm also excited. <laughs> I 
their bloated body arcs up in the air, landing with enough force to level the surrounding area. I'm guessing that's going to be a very low charge, high wind up power. Seriously? I don't know how we're supposed to get up here. Or possibly we're not supposed to be up there. This seemed like a likely candidate. But it seems like that ceiling is solid there. So we are going to remain stuck here, I guess. Unless there's like a sideways passage here or something. Or unless this power somehow gives me the ability to jump higher or something. Eh. So yeah, we need to be above that to get this. And it looks like this is again making me wonder if we're not actually supposed to be there yet. Um, if using the weapons to boost like that is cheese. It's untended. Or like an advanced uh, thing. So there's the other one. So yeah, I'm guessing this is one we can just do this. What? Maybe not? That looks like you should be able to stand on it. This one we just can't reach still. Great. That one I'm pretty sure we can. Again, I'm not sure we're supposed to be able to, but probably can. <laughs> Facing the wrong way. There we go. More stagnant blight. Nice. Let's see if there's anything else over here. This is not a high level area. There is something very satisfying when you finally get to go back and revisit some of these areas and you can just wade them. something with this because if I remember correctly we couldn't not sure if that was necessary once again but fine more stagnant blight it's a lot uh, that was another 30 from this screen That's orange again. I think 
we had like 40 before, so this is getting close to the point where we're going to be able to get another 90. Uh, that we, which is what we want. <laughs> Unless that one power lets us uh, do something cool. Which, I should check that real quick here. The uh, new power I got. See what it does. That doesn't seem bad. genuinely curious with that. Let's see, this is that side room there. That is not arrows. Grab to switch. So we could probably swap that guy out for the actual, the new elder, or the new, the Hamlet elder instead of the Hamlet youth, I guess, would be. So I'm not sure, it almost looks like there's supposed to be something over there. Which again, this thing makes me wonder if there's something we're missing there where you're supposed to be able to get up there. But I'm not seeing a way to do that. Or there's that. Bloodstained Ribbon increases the amount of blight uh, acquired. Well, levels don't seem like they're actually making that big of a difference most of the time, so I don't feel like we need to equip that at least. I'm once again not sure if we're actually supposed to be able to get up there, but that's okay. There's a part of me that's actually really curious about that, and I may need to... Uh, poke around in the, like, I wonder if there's a, I am very curious if there's a speedrun for this game, it's like, because it is a really neat game, and it feels like there would be a lot of potential for some broken movement tech that you could do, um, with the different spirits in combination and chaining attacks together and stuff. one at least, but yeah, we don't have the room for it right now. So we're just going to check a few more of these out. Um, I should probably actually double check where I'm at on... Okay, yep. 73 Stagnant Blight, 82 Curious Blight. So I think if we can find uh, either two more caches, or if we can find two or three more caches, I think we'll be able to upgrade one more thing, and I think that's a good spot to uh, look at what comes next, I guess.
basically, I don't think we're going to find enough to upgrade things twice. Um, <laughs> unless it's like a really big upgrade that we find. Like, we might find some more relics and stuff, but just the upgrades themselves, we're probably only going to find enough for one more. Um, Amulet Fragment, there's our Furious Blight, so we can now level that up. There's more Stagnant Blight. So if we can find one more dose of Stagnant Blight, uh, we'll be good. Uh, we're still missing something in this room, which actually really surprises me. Broken music box reduces damage. That's worth looking at. Yep. Enemies in this game hit pretty hard, so yeah. So my original intention here was looking at these last couple rooms here. So let's try going down. See if we can figure out what's up in this one, and then we'll go left. And then that'll probably be a good spot to call it. There are definitely some other areas that we could potentially do, but... <laughs> so I probably haven't been in this area since I could swim, either. No, no, I have. That's right, because this was the gate. Okay. So it's just this treasure chest, which... Again, I think I can get... Amulet gem. Okay. Max health up. Definitely okay with that. Chain of sorcery that was completely within reach the entire game. Thanks. That would have been nice to have. Yeah, I did come back here once I could swim. So that's a pretty sizable upgrade. Most of our health upgrades are only five. We're gonna go left first here. Or not left. I know my directions, I swear. Right first here. Stagnant Blight. Okay. 
let's head to the left and see if there's something more we can get. Switch over to sword because it's a little faster against those dogs. I don't remember. over here. And that was actually close to what I wanted to do. There's nothing this way quick. This definitely feels like it should be more accessible than it is. It also feels like that should be. I think I actually had it that time. And now I'm curious if charging the hammer is actually better. Need to do the flip around first. Should be the rest of our stagnant blight. Perfect. Again, those feel a little out of reach, but you know what? We'll take it. Um, enough to level both of them up. Let's go ahead and get back to the next or to this rest point here. Not sure if this works in the against aerial enemies. I should check that quick. Oh, those aren't gonna be back yet. Let's see if that guy actually works against aerial enemies or not. But oh well. So I think we're good at that point. We have done a pretty good amount of backtracking. Uh, we went from having a lot of blue to a lot of not blue. <laughs> I think we cleared like, let's see, we added that one. Like between these two videos, we've done a lot, or we've probably gotten seven or eight rooms cleared at least and gotten some new relics. Broken music box seems like a good one. Um, I think we're gonna do this um, for now. I'm gonna check how it works. Um, we're going to enhance. Oh, I need to decide what we're enhancing uh, between the three. Because I haven't been using this guy because he's slow, but. <laughs> um, I just got this one, so it's kind of, I'm a little hesitant on it. This one feels like the safest choice. 
And then, obviously, I've got 90 here. I can upgrade uh, any of these other ones again. And I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. Clearly, the choice is Elder Crypt Keeper. Uh, honestly, I'm probably looking at one of these two. Um, Fallen Archer feels really good to upgrade. This one's just good against bosses mostly, but uh, bosses in this game are hard. <laughs> so we'll take it. Uh, I'll think a little bit on it, but I think that's where we're going to rest up for now. Hopefully you are enjoying. If you are, please give a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.